everybody's top water Johnny and in this bass fishing video we're going to be fishing and doing a review of the mega bass prop darter 80 we're going to see if this baby bass can catch some big bass so let's go whoa there we go yeah whoa holy cow folks Top Water Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. Look at that right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. There we go. Woo! At that one. Hooked. Hey, everybody. It's Top Water Johnny. I want to welcome to the next video here. Be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be fishing with the Mega Bass Prop darter 80 right here and it's got a little propeller on the back which creates a lot of sound and fluctuation on the water a lot of movement like a fleeing minnow so we're going to fish with this one and see if we can catch some big bass on this little baby bass so let's go okay everybody it's time to do our review of the mega bass prop darter 80 right here so just so you guys can see it right here and i just want you guys to kind of take a look at it here just to get a a feel for it here like i said before it's got a prop on the back so it does a lot of kicking in the back here and we're going to throw it out here and i'm actually fishing this on total monofilament because it's a top water lure so i've got my you know my little twist on there to kind of i don't tie directly to the bait i always have on there my little clamp but i also but it's an open clamp so it has a lot of action to it and here we are and as I can see right here, this lure sits nose up in the water. But when you reel it, those blades start spinning in the back of it. Let's do this one more. Let's do it again here. Get it out. And uh, when I throw it out there, I let it sit. And then all of a sudden, I raise it up. And what I like about it is when you pop it, it moves right to left. But then that blade is spinning in the back, so it pushes it forward a little bit. So it gives it a little bit more action, a little bit more movement as you are working the lure. So let's, um, let's get a closer look here in the water. So as you can see, it's out there in the water. And it kind of, and it just kind of breaks the water there up. And it spins along there, especially when you cast it. When you really cast it, that blade really spins. And as you can see, if I just do a straight retrieve, it's going to have a lot of that ticking noise. And what I'm normally doing out here, one more time, what I'm normally doing out here is I'm throwing it out, then I pop it and reel it a little bit, pop it, reel it a little bit. Then I pop it really a little bit. And if there's any current on the water that you're fishing, you're going to get some really nice movement out of it. It's going to look really natural out there. One more time here. And I like how it holds in the one spot. Like once you throw it and you pop it, it'll sit there and that blade will still be spinning. And that really does create a lot more action. Okay. Other part about this, like I said, this is a light lure. So I'm fishing this on 20 pound monofilament, as you can see right here. I'll show you guys up close. As you can see here, got it attached on here. So it does give it a chance to have a lot of movement because I got it clamped on here with a double egg clamp right here. But it does give it a chance to have a lot of movement, a lot of action. And as you can see, what I'm looking for is where the action is. Like if I see fish kind of, if I see something kind of busting, I want to put it where they are. And I just want to kind of move it across there because whatever they're chasing, hopefully my lure will create a little bit more noise, a little bit more attention, and they'll redirect their focus. And then if I just keep reeling it, it has a nice right to left action here. Don't reel too fast because you can blow it out where it'll start to just lay on its side. So you don't want to do that either as well. 
fishing this along the edges and the weed lines, that's pretty much where this lure really excels, except we will in open water if they're busting. But along the weed lines, along the lily pad edges, that's where I've seen this really excel at, and that's where I'm going to be fishing it. Just wanted to give you guys a closer look at the Mega Bass Prop Darter 80. All right. Okay, everybody, now that we've done our review, it's time to get this lure out on the water and fish it and see what we can make happen. So let's go. There we go. Prop daughter. Prop daughter 80. There we go. All right. There we go. Look at that, everybody. On that prop daughter 80 right there, man. All right. No complaints. All right, everybody. There he is. On that prop daughter 80. That little bass one. Okay. Everybody, top work Johnny here. Got this one, nice one on that Mega Bass Prop Darter 80 right there, man. So they keyed on this little minnow. They keyed on it, and we got them. All right. Oh, it's crap. Missed that one. Missed that little one right there. He bubbled up right at the top, right at the edge when I was about to pull it out there. I let him, I think I, think I, I let him take it, but he didn't take it fully. He didn't get a hook in him. So we'll just keep on going. There we go. There we go. I knew there was one down there. There we go. There we go. All right. Got you. All right, everybody. In those weeds. That mega bass prop darter got him. All right. There he is right there on that mega bass prop darter 80. Okay. Hey, everybody. Stop with Johnny here. Look at this one here. Got a nice one. On that Mega Bass Prop Darter 80, right along the edges there. I kept pushing along the edges, and that propeller glides along just enough to get them to trigger. So this is really good lure, so I am really impressed right here. But here we go. Nice one. All right. Okay, everybody. Nice one right here. A little over a pound. All right. Hey, everybody. Start with the channel here. Hope you enjoyed the video. What we're going to do right now is we're going to do a closer look of the Mega Bass Prop Darter 80. So let's go ahead and start our closer look right now. Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny here. Here is our lure here. It is the Mega Bass Prop Dart 80 floating. And this is actually from Mega Bass, a floating lure here. It's been out for a number of years here. It's got that unique Mega Bass hook, treble hook design right here. The actual weight is a quarter ounce. The length is 3.16 inches. The price on this lure is $18.99. This lure actually has a bill on the front, but it does not dive. It actually rocks right to left on the surface of the water here. So it does not dive. It also has, as you can see in the back here, a prop in the back. And so that makes a propeller movement in the back, which allows this lure to skate across the top of the water and look a lot more like a fleeing fish that's starting right to left. Also, 
as you can hear, it's got a rattle inside of it as well in a rattle chamber. And for Mega Bass, one thing about it is it has its own unique weight system inside of here that allows it to create its own unique vibration and movement on top of the water. So this little right here is one that's definitely one of Mega Bass's more unique top water lures in the sense of it looks like a jerk bait, but it's built to be a top water. So with that in mind, there you go, everybody. The Mega Bass Prop Darter 80 floating. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Top Water Johnny here. Want to thank you once again for watching the video. In this video, we were featuring the Mega Bass Prop Darter 80 right here. And I want to give a special shout out to the subscriber that recommended that I check it out and fish it. And that was Brian Kissling. He was the one that recommended that I check it out, see it. And he made a great recommendation, everyone, because I'm here to tell you, this lure is not a new lure in the marketplace, but it's probably a lure that's been forgotten about. It has great movement, right to left rocking motion with this propeller in the back, this prop in the back. And when you literally, when you cast this lure, once you allow it to stop, the lure actually keeps moving because of the propeller motion in the back, does a great right to left, does a great pause and just twitch does a lot of really good things that are special. And in the video, when you watch me fish it, notice where I was catching the fish, along the actual weed edges there. So right along the edges, that seemed to me to be the most effective place. Now, of course, if the bass are busting out in the center and they're chasing minnows, you have a chance there. But I saw this lure really excel right near the lily pads and right near the cover because it really mimicked and looked like a fleeing fish and it even has what's really a what they call a snake like movement because it's really not a walk the dog but it's more like a snake like movement there so i was just really impressed with it here now if you want to get yourself one of these there's a place that you can because i did a little research and actually you can buy it from carolina fishing tackle.com that's carolina fishing tackle.com that's where you can buy one the price will be 18 dollars and 99 cent this particular pattern you see here, I actually bought this one on eBay. So I was looking for more of a bass colored pattern. So I went to eBay, found one, I had to wait a little bit longer to get it, but I did receive it here. So I just want you kind of to know where I got mine from originally. But if you want to get one, you can go to that tackle store online and grab you one as well. Now, with all that in mind here, as I said before, it's all about top water right now, so I'm very excited about continuing with the top water action. I've got a new t-shirt that I'm going to be coming out with here that I'm going to show everybody, and hopefully you guys will like it enough to support me on that shirt and grab yourself one of those t-shirts. So I'm going to be posting that in the near future here so you can see what that looks like as well. Also, I've got a lot of other lures that I'm out here fishing right now, and it's kind of like raining down here in Florida and kind of really cloudy. So I'm really hopeful that these lures will excel during these cloudy days here. So that's what I've got going on right now. Don't forget, and I haven't forgot, I'm still going to do a giveaway. I'm just trying to think about the things that I want to do in this giveaway this particular time. So I'm working on that as well. And then finally, everyone, I just want to thank each and every one of you guys for being a subscriber to the channel. I want to welcome those that have just discovered this channel and as always, I want to encourage each and every one of you, if you see a top water lure that looks unique and kind of cool, and you'd like to see it featured on this channel, please be sure to leave it in the comment section, and I'll go check it out. And I'll let you know if I have it already, or if it's something that I would fish top water with. So I'm always open to you guys' recommendations. And then, like I said, as always, I just want to thank each and every one of you. Please, if you haven't already, Hit the like button. Like button makes a big difference. So please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and just be a part of what we're doing over here and get notified when I drop new information. So once again, my name is Topwater Johnny and I'm going to say that phrase. Keep your line tight because when they hit those topwater lures, especially lures that look like this, it's going to be a big bite. I'll see you in the next video.